Hi! Welcome to another episode of the Nitty Digit Podcast. I am your host, Jay. If you are new, welcome. Thank you so much for checking me out. If you are have already checked me out and are returning, thank you so much. You're fabulous. So, I'm going to do the quick and dirty because I have 30 minutes to do this. So, alright. So, knitting! Let's first start. So, traveling, my traveling knitting, I think you remember I was doing the solid cow, frogged it. Completely frogged it. So, now I just started a regular triangular shawl, kind of winging it, but I think I have an idea for the bottom, which is it's a nice leafy border. So, right now it's no pattern, just a regular triangular shawl. And the yarn is Blue Moon Fiber Art Socks That Rock Lightweight, Cozy, Fierce, and Dirty Orange. Oh, by the way, my name is Jay. I don't think I, I said that. So, alright, and these are done in my size 5. There's Pride, and they're, uh, they're, they're lacy tip ones. US 5, and I think it's, well, what's the millimeters? Millimeters, 3.75 millimeters. There you go. And these are done in my needle runs through it. Superhero in bag. Ha ha! Alright. Next project. Yeah, I know, I don't, I don't have anything off the needle. So is in my Substitch Studios bag. Science. Um, I'm still doing 198 Yards of Heaven, which is a free pattern. I am now on the lace border, and then that should be it. So I'm getting pretty close to done. Is this the right I'm showing you the wrong side. Yeah, that's smart. He is, I'm really happy about it. It's very nice. I know it's a little busy for the pattern, so you can't really see the nice chevron-y leafy, leafy pattern, but I still like it. It has a nice lace without, I don't know, I like it. I like it, and that's what counts, right? This is done in Blue Moon Fiber Art Silky Socks That Rock. I'm Mad Art, Mad Heart You. Um... Down. I'm Mad Heart U. U. And this is done on US 8s. US 8s, 5 millimeter in my high, high sharps. And I'm almost about done. Oh, no, I can't run. This would have been done, this recording would have been done sooner, but I was trying to not use my laptop and use the computer in the living room which is right there which is connected to the TV and I was trying to connect the, the, the camera onto the TV it wasn't working right so I just had to drag my dying laptop and just do this quick and dirty so that's what I have on the needles nothing much I'm still not I'm, I'm trying to get in the habit of knitting more because it's stressed and all but no books, also because I'm still slow in the reading. I finish, although I finish on Audible, um, Good Omens, and now I'm on Neverwhere. But I'm not listening to the actual audiobook, I'm listening to the radio adaptation of it. Um, you can find it on Audible. It's with James McAvoy and Natalie Dormer, um, Benedict Cumberbatch. It's really good. I'm almost done with that one. So that's it on books. And I did books before nails. Nails! This is going to be the longer section. So, after I left you two weeks ago, although you didn't get it until Monday of this last Saturday, um, 
I had on and yes, okay. So for a week and a half, I had on my nails after I did the Indian Sari. I used my Jalays, my China Glaze Jalays, um, Ruby Ruby pumps. Yeah, Ruby pumps. And you can't really see the bottle. The bottle actually is supposed to imitate the color, which it did perfectly. It's ah, really So. That stayed on for a good week and a half. It lasted very long. I was very happy about that. Um, the one thing about the gelays, and you probably, if you're into gel polish and have been looking into it and reading up on this brand, it does, it supposedly shrinks. Um, but the one thing that people have found that stops it and make, actually makes it really easy um, to put on is you put it in the freezer for five minutes or less and I did that I didn't even try to do it without doing the freezer because I did not want to deal with complications and it worked perfectly it went on like a breeze it was amazing so don't put it on don't put it in the freezer too long <laughs> or it'll actually freeze a little <laughs> and make your formula get really thick so five minutes five minutes or less um, so I had that, so there's a picture of that. And then I, uh, I picked it off. I didn't pick it, I picked it off. I know. Um, it was horrible. I was a bad girl. So I decided to give my, and this, oh, I didn't pull. In my rush to get all my stuff together, I pulled the wrong bottle. <laughs> oh. So after that, I did regular nail polish with a jamberry wrap because I wanted to try a new method that my friend was telling me about, um, which is instead of so with the jamberry wraps, you're supposed to heat up the the, the vinyl sticker so that it, the glue really stays on. Well, I was having problems with wrinkling and bubbling and just not really sticking, so not looking nice. So my friend was saying oh you're probably not waiting to, you're waiting you're you're filing it too soon when it's too warm because I've been using the hair dryer well what you do the best me the method she told me about was called the rice batter method which is basically taking you know those neck wraps they were really in about five years ago where you warm it up in the microwave and you put it on your neck or some I put it on my neck and my lower back and it feels so good. It's done in these cutesy new age fabric. Some people make their own into socks or something like that. I don't know. Well, basically they're filled with rice and you warm, you make this rice bag and you warm it up for a minute or less. And what you do is you put the sticker cold. You know, you position it the way you want. Um, you know, cut them, file them down, and then once you have it situated, put the brace bag onto the, the nail that has the wrap, and you put it on there for about three minutes. Once you do the three minutes, you take it off, you then, you know, do your smoothing and you're making sure there's no bumps and just smooth, smooth it out on the nail. And then you, once that's done, you put it back on your put the rice bag on your nail to seal it. I forgot to do the second part of sealing, so um, it's not as good as it could, but it's much better than what it was, I have to say. So I'm pretty happy. So I'm not flipping off. This is what I did. So I did, if you can kind of see, it's flowers. I have a better picture. I'm really not flipping off, I swear. And so this one I didn't cut, so you can see it's kind of on the cuticle. But this one I cut a little bit to fit more on my nail, and it actually looks much better. So, so then I paired that with, not this, this is Spidey Sense. I think I told you guys I got almost all of the Revlon Spider-Man collection. Well, I decided I wanted to actually use them, even though I didn't get to wear them for the premiere when we went to see it. 
But I actually won tickets buying these. I gave it to, we gave it to someone else. So it's not Spidey Sense. <laughs> it's not this red color. I should have been like, hey, wait a minute, it's too red. I use Gwen's, Gwen's Crush. So it's a lot more hot pink fuchsia. Not this! It's a dark room. The professor's taking a nap. So. I was too quick. But it's not this, but it's in the same collection. Okay? So. But that was chipping yesterday and last night. I, I had the inspiration, so I took off the Gwen's Crush and did use my for Audrey. Jalays. Trying to believe Jalays. And this is the one where I found out if you put it longer than five minutes, it gets really thick. I completely forgot I put it in the freezer. So I was getting prepared. I'm like, oh, sh oh poops. <laughs> so I ran over to the freezer and I couldn't, it froze and I couldn't even open it. I had to use a wrench. <laughs> you can kind of see in the cap I did that. <laughs> But it, once I warmed it up a little, it, it went on just fine. So, here's this one. And I've been having, the one thing I noticed with my new light is I noticed that inside my, inside my thumb right here, it wasn't drying. And it would come right off when I was finishing up with the alcohol. So, what I did, um, I put in my nails, other than the Janberry wraps, I put them in like that. You know, usual full, like that. And then, um, once I was done with one hand, I did the other hand. Once I was done with both, I took both thumbs and kind of put them in the, the dryer and did another 30 seconds. And it was perfect. It really was perfect. So, it didn't come off. I'm very happy about that. So, so here's my left hand. I'm actually really happy with how this all turned out. I mean, my thumbs look perfect. For, finally, there is still I'm still getting a little bit of debris on this one, so but I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. And I don't have to worry about work and the colors in interview because so I can wear whatever I want because right now I'm working at a temp at a temporary position in an HR company and they're very relaxed about these things. I mean to a certain degree, but you know what I'm saying. So I don't have to worry about and no interviews at this moment, but I'm kinda of hoping this temporary position becomes a permanent thing. So but I'll talk more on Saturday et cetera, because it's three oh nine. And I already did books because my brain keeps wanting to put books before nails all of a sudden. Don't ask me why. Yes. Parade. Parade of guilty pleasures. So actually a lot of this is more um, gifting or um, um, s s what do you call it? Um, exchanging. So I had, so I was exchanging a my jewel of Freedom Polymer that remember I threw it one of them away and bought a whole new one to do the testing of the of the top coat. Well, I realized it. I didn't like it. it. Just determined it's not my thing. So, um, my one of the gals at at uh, there's Fiber and McCollish. She, I, I put it up on our, on our farms or for the you know exchange whatever, and she's like, okay, well. Um, so actually I got two offers for the Freedom Home. I had one gal say, oh yeah, I'll do it. And I had another gal that said, we will exchange, I'll exchange it for the Revlon base coat. And I'm like, because oh. they discontinued, their Revlon has discontinued it. They've come out with a new gel, color gel thing that doesn't require a base coat. So they're getting rid of the base coat, even though it's fantabulous. Um, for regular nail polish and I'm like collecting it all so I went with that gals but I felt bad because the other gal had contacted me before my, before my other friend with the Revlon base coat but I explained the situation I was honest I said 
this gal offered to exchange with a rebel on base coat and I must have that and she's like oh no I understand but I told her how about this I've been wanting to get rid of my vivid lacquer because I don't use it that much and I, I it's not the I think the polish doesn't agree with my chemistry it's not the polish itself so I wanted to give it to someone who wanted, who wanted it so um uh, sorry hold on Okay, great. My computer's acting weird. Anyway, um, so I told her, I have a lot of polish. I have some vivid lacquers. You want them? And she's like, yeah. So we did an exchange. So um, she, the gal who I gave my vivid lacquer to, she exchanged with me these two because she saw my she saw my wish, wish list and she's like oh you want these so and I love holo you know I love holo right and I'm kind of bummed I can't put these on just yet but I wanted to wait a little while so I got this this is um dazzling pink this is LA girl 3d effects this is supposed to be a dupe of the Zoya dream I think the dream. She said one of one of those storm and the holo ones. So I'm excited to try this one. And then she got me or early color blast mag magenta gloss glitter, which is a holo. It's, there's no sun out, so sorry, no sun. So you can't really see the holo. But this is this. Um, she says this is a dupe. This is very close to Miss Perfect, which is on my wish list, and you can't get Miss Perfect anywhere. So she's like, here, this is very close to it, so I'm excited about that. And then she got my Vivid Lacquer, and all is well in the world. So that's that. And then my friend who gave me the, the Revlon base coat for the Freedom Polymer, she felt bad because of the price exchange. I said, just give me the base coat, I'm fine with that. But she also included... She said, oh, you're, you're into julep colors. So here's the base coat. The fabulous base coat. I think I have six now. Ami. I swear, I swear I do have a cat. I do. Maybe he's yelling because, no, Teddy's not on the counter. I don't think so. I don't see it. I don't know. So that's the base coat. And then this is Leslie. And then it's a black with sparkles. And then she also gave me Goya, which is like a nice creamy, is it shimmery? Shimmery green. Where's Teddy? Sorry, the professor is finding the teddy. She's meowing now. What is she doing? Oh. What are you? Are you okay? Oh, teddy. Hi, sweetie. Come here. Me, teddy. Hi, I'm teddy. That was the professor. Hi there. See, you're a you're a famous star. Look at that. Hi, Teddy. Hi, people. Hi, people. No, you want to go? Nope. Sorry, can't do it. Can't do it. You're stuck with me. You're stuck with me. Mm. You smell like curry. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Come here. Come here. Nope. Hoppity hop. You're going to go back to your chair, aren't you? Teddy cameo. Come here, Teddy. So that's what, that's what my friend exchanged with me. And then, because I have the most fabulous friends, I had a friend, also in the TFIMP, um, and I haven't asked to name her name. So, I'm just going to say a very good friend. 
I call her my good friend, even though I've never met her. But she's fabulous, and she's been hearing my job woes and whatnot, and she decided to give me a pick-me-up prop. She decided to send me a pick-me-up package, so there's Scarlet, because you have to send nail polish. Teddy! Teddy! Nope, she's going into the chair. Yep, in the chair. Then she got me C Candid Cameron, which is a pretty blue. And then this one she says is rare now because they don't. Ha it's pure ice, called Heartbreaker, and it's a topper, but it's different now. This is an older version of Heartbreaker, I guess. Because she said the other one is clear now, but this is more iridescent blue. So I'm going to have to check this one out. Maybe I'll put it on top of this one. And then she got me some purple goddess yarn. This is Walk Like a Goth. Ah, more self stripping sock yarn. And it doesn't fit in my cubby where purple goddess should be. So I guess I'm going to have to cast it on. <laughs> and then cuz you can't you can't here's you can't really send just yarn and nail polish. You have to send stitch markers from Purple Goddess. And then a book which I'm going to gear myself up to do. So that really was a nice pick me up. I mean, things are getting better now, but it really was a nice pick me up, and it just it warmed the cockles on my heart. Oh, but there's more. So, um, at, at my yarn store at work, Ami, at my yarn store at work, um, one of the she's like a manager she it's my the, it's the owner's sister she she's uh she also does a lot of sewing and she does a lot of project bags and she had this kitty cat project bag that she gave to my boss mindy and i'm like oh i love it and she's like you want me to make you one for sale i'm like yeah sure i'll buy it that was two months ago and then I, it came in and so I went to work yesterday to work and I saw it there and I paid for it. And these are not, you know how I usually get a discount. This is not discounted because of the cost factor and I was fine with that. I mean, I, I didn't think it was going to be, it was going to be discounted at all. I'm, I usually don't expect a lot of specially made stuff discounted because of the, you know, Especially with some of these things, because I know the, it it really is the, I understand the the cost and whatever. So I was fine with that. But isn't it cute? It's kitties. Kitties. Oh, misshapen. Kitties. <laughs> and on the inside, it's a pretty blue. I'm obsessed with this blue, so and it's nice and padded, which I really like. See, it's a nice blue. I'm very happy about this bag. Very bad. Oh, and I really like this detail. She had a stitch marker as a thing, but look, it has a jewel. It's really nice. It's very well made, and I'm very happy with this. Oh, you could totally take it off and use it as a stitch marker. It's cool. So, yeah. That is my parade of guilty pleasures. Um, it's 3.20. I have 10 minutes. All right. Um, so the reason why I'm rush rushing is because the professor and I are going to go see Godzilla at 4. And we have to walk. And, oh, 
I can't show you this. Ooh, I got it. I went to Target this morning. It's only ten dollars. Usually it's like thirteen or more, but since they at Target it's only sensational. It only costs nine nine ninety nine ten dollars. This is called heirloom lilac. It's pretty. Okay, now I'm done. So we're going to go to Godzilla in nine minutes. Told you about the temp kit. We're hoping to become permanent. Cross your fingers. Come on, you guys. It's it's great work. I'm more relaxed. And yeah. That's it. But I'm trying to be optimistic, but realistic. So keep me in your prayers, thoughts, or whatever. Um, what else? That's about it. I know. It's really short. My god. I feel like I should fill it with things. Cats. Professors. But that's it. You, you got me. Alright, you guys, you can find me at Twitter on as J underscore crafty underscore geek. You can find me on Instagram as J Crafty Geek. You can find me on Ravelry as Knitterly Book Lady. We also have a Ravelry group. We are quiet. As the dead, if you want to liven us up, go right on ahead or just add me. That's usually where I let you guys know if I've suddenly fell down a tunnel of stuff and can't post or whatever. So I do try to keep it updated. Um, back episodes can be found on YouTube. And that's my phone. And what else? Oh, you can find show notes that don't exist, <laughs> but basically the video at nittydigits.blogspot.com because I've been lazy. All right, you guys have been fabulous. It's 3.23. I better get my butt moving. And you guys have a great Nitty Digit day. Bye.